here you'll see a slightly different spreadsheet, but it's actually building on the previous example. In row one, marketing costs, we've included the cost of building the ads across the three ad platforms from our previous examples. Then I've added in the sales and marketing salaries and included any overhead costs for sales and marketing. So these show up in these three rows. We add them up to get our total sales and marketing cost. So I'm going to just sum up these three cell values and I'm going to copy the formula over for the other two months, September and October. And then to get the customer acquisition cost, I'm going to take the total sales and marketing cost and divide it by the number of paid customers. So I'm going to plug in that formula. So I'm going to take this divided by the number of paid customers and copy the formula over again for the two months remaining September and October. As you can see in this example, our CAC was less than $150. It ranged between $148 to $110. A good rule of thumb is that the CAC should be a fourth of your revenue. If you're spending more than that, then you are spending too much. So you're spending too much to get a customer, to acquire a customer. And if you're spending less than that, you're actually losing business opportunities. So this was one example to calculate the customer acquisition cost.